Hey guys, so I just got back from Hillsong Worship and Creative Conference 2019. What a weekend. Honestly, that was one of the most encouraging weekends that I have ever been on. I guess it's a weekend, I don't know, Wednesday to Friday. A pre-weekend. I went to the first one in 2017 and I didn't go last year, but this year's one was very well run. Just an extraordinary time of being able to just take in. And I highly, highly recommend it. Now I'm sitting here talking to you guys in my office because I got back home and was so excited to put all the vlog footage together because I'd already started to talk through what I was thinking and the reason why I would encourage you to go and attend Hillsong Worship and Creative Conference if you are a Christian creative. But then I got home and looked at all the footage and something happened with my audio. And yeah, honestly, the reason that I'm so excited about this conference is I'm actually just trusting and kind of testing it now to see if the microphone had any problems or if it was just a loose connection, something I didn't notice while I was recording. But hey, there wasn't all that much to it that what I was actually saying, it would have been a lot more passionate in the moment for you to listen to. I still really want to make this video to encourage you to go to a conference like this if you are a Christian creative. The main reason that I went and why I would encourage you to do the same if you get the chance is because as creatives, especially if you do work in a creative field such as myself, there's not all that much opportunity to get input into our lives. We're always outputting creativity. We're always outputting a lot of the time. And I find that there isn't all that much opportunity to get input it into at such an incredible level by such world-class creatives all in a safe environment and a very uplifting environment and it is a faith-based conference so there is just the atmosphere is completely different to any other conference that you could go to i've been to conferences where people like gary vaynerchuk and grant cardone speak you know, people in the world with huge reputations and, and magnitude of influence but there's something different when you're in a room and the Holy Spirit is just moving and it's thick and you're surrounded by people of like faith, all invested in the ministry and their creative endeavors and are all doing it because they know that God's created them to do it. And you get so much encouragement from the night and morning meetings. The worship time is incredible. The worship time is absolutely amazing. Being led in worship by the guys and girls who are part of Hillsong United, Hillsong Worship, Young and Free, all these uh, spirit breathe ministries. It's just an incredible time. And then the word that gets spoken by the caliber of speakers that they have at Hillsong. There's always something incredible that you know you're going to get from the meetings and the speakers in the meetings. And then because it is a worship and creative conference, there's other elements in the meetings that wouldn't be necessarily seen at maybe Hillsong conference itself. Because it is targeted at creatives, there's a lot of creativity that's put to use and put to work. Segment some of the production the dancing, the, uh, all the different expression of art that gets put into a meeting is completely different. And it's just something that helps to just stretch our own imaginations and be encouraged that there's people out there doing incredible stuff. And then to be able to hear, you know, it's really powerful testimonies and powerful ways that people have been able to use their art in ministry and in work. It's just amazing. Some of these stories, it just blew my mind. There was also people who spoke who are successful in the business world and are doing things that are incredible and they're using the talents that God has equipped them with to be able to really have that influence in their spheres of creativity. And then the breakout sessions are something that was really, really cool too. So they're a mix of immersive ones and ones that are more hands-on, some practical teaching and workshops, that kind of thing. I personally went this year to a lot of the campaign management and filmmaking sessions. I really enjoyed going to the more broad ones in the first year that I went. But this year I was really intentional to make sure that I was getting input into areas that I was really wanting to serve in as well as doing, you know, my actual work. So they were very practical and I learned a lot. And flicking back to worship, you know, Midnight Massive was amazing. There's a solid 90 minutes uh, from 10.30 to midnight 
in the second day of the conference that is done every year and it's just something else, something so special about that moment where people, everyone's gathering there and just expecting something great night of worship. And of course, I would recommend going full stop, but it is awesome to be able to go out with your friends and your family and people who are close, you're close with or people you're serving with so that you can input together because there's time there to bond as well. And every night we were hanging out after each meeting, even though we were tired and just talking about the things that we'd learned and even in between sessions, in between meetings, be able to bounce all that information that we you know, digested throughout the day and be able to put it out and, and discuss it and actually have some really great conversations with each other there too. So I would definitely encourage you, if you can, to go out with a group and just learn together and get inputted in together. <sighs> I'm fairly sure that's everything that I covered when I was actually trying to do it in real life. There was some snippets there. I'd probably, I'll try to include them where I had my brother uh, say a couple things. I'm sure I can salvage the audio for, but. Why would you say it's valuable to go to a conference like Worship and Creative? You know, it kind of pulls you away from what you're used to and brings you into an environment where both you're learning huge ideas and you experience the room, you experience the ideas as well. Yeah. You experience it, like if you listen to things online, you can take away things that you hear, but when you tangibly experiencing yeah. what they're talking about, and this one's like about creativity and worship, and you tangibly experience those two things really in another room, room and it, like that's next level. Yeah, it really does like change your perspective on for this like creative and worship. Yeah, because you experience it, it's tangible. Yeah, what's super valuable is because we at certain stages of what we're doing, we're all at different stages in our uh, experience, but to get this huge conglomerate of knowledge and wisdom um, and we're not having to do anything because we get to just experience it like yeah. I was just saying we don't have to yeah you set time aside for it too it's not like yep. you're squeezing it in the moments in between the day to day like you're fully yep. immersed and fully focused on the things that you've come to, to learn yeah well we used said one thing that um, I guess especially as Christian creatives I found very very valuable it's like how do we actually expand ourselves and the Bible talks about in Isaiah 54 that we're actually meant to be expanding and growing and lengthening and the reason um, we can do that is because we get input in then we output we do what we're meant to do with what's in our hand and then God will increase us the next time that we get inputted so these conferences are like after we've output we spent our years and months doing whatever we're doing the conference is now a chance to get God to increase us even further and expand ourselves. So if we do this continuously, I'm just I'm, I'm just looking forward to seeing exactly what happens. It's like a scary pockets type thing. All these churches, all these people. All right, Lydia and Hannah. Yes. What do you feel is the reason people should be coming to these conferences? So many things. I think everyone has skills. It's just good to hear everyone else's perspective on things and their mindset. Everyone, I guess, has different opinions and different ways of doing things, and it's good to just step back from what you do and kind of, yeah. yeah. And also learn how to use your creativity yeah. for God's kingdom. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. How to focus it for that. Yeah, I guess putting yourself in a different environment and just um. Just be able to take it in. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, to be able to sit back and let them kind of just be willing to learn. It's really nice to just be so surrounded by everything. I would definitely encourage you to attend Hillsong Worship Creative. There's also a large lack of sleep, so I would uh, prepare for that too. Uh, I'm still recovering. I'm still on the uh, recovery path from not being able to sleep all that much, but hey, worth it. Completely worth it. And so, yes, thank you for watching this video. If you liked the content that I'm putting out, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I hope that you have a fantastic day and I will see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.